coming back to the skirt portion, I've attached uh, the trim all the way around as I explained in the previous uh, video. Now the gear of this, because there's so many 24 panels that are joined, the gear is quite wide. It's about four and a half yards in width and you can do simple math 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 mm -hmm. mathematics by m multiplying the width of your each gully mm -hmm. by the amount of gullias that you've inserted so if each of these is seven inches and you've inserted 24 then it is mathematics of seven times 24 and you'll get your uh, and then divide it by 36 and you'll get the yardage of exactly how many yards uh, you've got okay so uh, what I'm going to do is um, I decided on lining this with additional lining of this brocade type of fabric and this is going to give it a slight bit of a enhanced look whereas it was looking pl uh, fairly plain and dull and I wanted to actually give it a brighter look I've gone for um, a printed because the chiffon is very very fine and I needed to sort of give it volume and also give it a better look and I didn't really fancy the plane so what we're going to do is now we're on the last portion of this and uh, the last portion is to attach the lining and the two of the linings together and <coughs> so we're going to do like a simple seam of attaching you know across and it's a slightly one is slightly loose and the other one is slightly you know but we can create a slight bit of um, ease in the top one to incorporate the bottom one and then once uh, you know the all the bottom portions of this this are finished off and uh, by attaching this to this the final portion is going to be that we're going to attach these and then overlay them I'm going to over, overlay this with this lace, uh, which is the lace that we used on the hem, and this would actually just um, this would actually just break off and you know give um, cover the seam that's on the waistband. I'm actually oh god, I'm right in place. Okay, this can be annoying. Um, yeah, so the final portion of this is going to be that I'm going to iron on the wonder web onto this and then we're just going to attach the lace on top of the joint and hopefully that should be the completed suit. I just want to make sure at this point, I want to make sure that uh, both the top length of uh, the dress and the bottom length is actually what I require. I, I wanted a full length dress of um, Amazingly enough, there normally is so many tape measures on that. They always disappear. Somebody was commenting to me yesterday that I'm sure you've got ginats in here because there always seem to be things disappearing. And yet 52 inches is what you really required. It's spot on and inshallah this is going to be a beautiful, beautiful result. Only final thing we've got to work out after this is what we're going to do with the dupatta or how we're going to finish it off.